Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna give ourselves a cute DIY manicure and I got the inspo for this mani from Pinterest. It's a lot easier than it looks and all you're gonna need are a few basic items. So let's get into what you'll need. First up, you're gonna need some full cover false nails. This is from a set I got off Amazon. You're gonna need some gel polish foundation. I also got this from an Amazon set. You're going to need some gel polish of your choice. You're going to need some sparkle polish. It makes the butterflies easier to blend. You're going to need a gel polish top coat, a UV LED nail dryer, some butterfly nail decals, a nail file, some nail stands, a nail care kit. This is optional. A nail buffer. This is optional, but this is one I've had for a few years. A brush to brush away the dust, some nail glue, this is just a cloth I use to dry my hands with and in case it spills, a bowl to soak your hands with, some oil for your cuticle when you're done. I also didn't show some acetone, but that's definitely something handy to keep on the side. So now let's prep our nails. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and soak my nails for about three minutes, no more, because any longer than that makes it easier for your nail polish to chip and expands the nails, something like that, that I read, but um, yeah, keep it down to three minutes or less. And that also makes it easier to just push away the cuticles, which I'm gonna go ahead and do. So now I'm just gonna use everything that came in that little nail kit to just push away the cuticles, clean it up, scrape away any hang nails. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my cuticle trimmer to clean up my cuticles even further. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and file my nails. When you're filing your nails, you wanna make sure that you're going in one direction. The back and forth motion that you usually see can actually weaken your nails. So make sure to go in one direction, going from the outside to the middle, and that's on both sides. Um, I know that I'm showing one direction in this video, but definitely go from outside to middle on both your left and right side. Now let's shape the press-ons. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and decide on what size is best for what nail. These nail kits come with multiple sizes, so once you decide on what size is best for what nail, go ahead and lay them all out and that will just keep everything nice and organized for you. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and file the bottom of the nail and that will help it fit nicely into the cuticle and give it more of a natural look. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and trim the nails down even more with this nail trimmer. This I realized I didn't include in the beginning of the video, but it's not necessary. It's just a nice to have. It makes things a little bit easier. And I'm gonna just use this nail clipper to file the sides down even more into that desired coffin shape. So now let's go ahead and create the accent nails. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of sticky tack to stick all of the fake nails onto the nail stands. I didn't mention this in the beginning, but I just felt that it was, again, something that was just up to your own discretion. So now I'm just gonna use the gel polish foundation and put that as a base across all 10 of the nails. Now I'm going to pop each set of nails into the dryer for a, about a minute. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply a coat of the sparkle nail polish. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for about a minute as well. So now I pull it out and it's dry. Um, it's not shown in this clip, but I go ahead and I put another layer of the sparkle nail polish. And that is what I kind of use as an adhesive for these butterfly decals. Um, you can go ahead and buy special glue to stick things on with, but for me, I just felt like this was easier and I was just using what I had. So it's a little tricky to get them on, but I used um, this little pointer thing that I had from the nail kit to kind of put everything into the right position, as well as some tweezers from that kit as well. And sorry in advance, this clip is a little bit out of focus. 
And this is what it looks like once I get everything into position for the most part. Um, then I go ahead and fix everything up and then I pop it into the UV dryer for about another minute. Now go ahead and put another coat of the Sparkle nail polish on. Um, it should be a thin coat. I feel like uh, this wasn't that thin, but what can you do? Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the UV dryer for another minute as well. Now let's go ahead and paint the remaining nails purple. So now just go ahead and paint the remaining accent nails purple with a thin coat. Then go ahead and pop it into the UV dryer for another minute. Now go ahead and put a second coat of the purple polish on the nails. And this is what really gives it the nice rich tone. And then you're gonna go ahead and pop that into the UV dryer for another minute or two. With this final coat, I went for a little bit longer just to ensure that everything was cured nicely. Now go ahead and finish everything off with a final top coat. Um, and then you are done with the painting process. Now I just went ahead and popped that in the dryer for about two minutes. Now go ahead and buff and file your nails. So I started out with a buffer and then I moved on to the nail file just so everything would have a coarse and rough texture and adhere to the nails better when I put the glue on. So now let's go ahead and press the nails on. So this is what the nails look like when everything is all dried and cured. And I'm gonna go ahead with my nail polish and put that on each finger before I go ahead and press the nails on. I personally really like this brush on glue type because I just felt like it's easier to control than the kind that you drip on. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and press the nails onto each nail. So start out with the base of the nail. So start at the bottom of your nail and work your way up while you're pressing and be quite firm while you're pressing. Press for about 30 seconds or so and do that for each nail. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my nails in the UV dryer for another two minutes. And this is what it looks like when everything is all done and finished. I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Here's a few more pictures and thank you for watching. Let me know if this was helpful and if you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more and subscribe to my channel, like below, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys next time.